my name is Michelle. I'm a technician with IDVR.info. Today we're going to be going over how to install the remote viewing software on your iPhone. Um, the first thing you'll want to do is open up your App Store icon from your iPhone. Once the App Store icon is open, in the search bar you'll type in iWatch space DVR. Um, you'll actually get two options to download. There's an iWatch DVR um, app and there's an iWatch DVR2 app. Uh, we suggest that you download the iWatch DVR2 app. There are more uh, features that come along with that app than the first previous version. Um, once you hit install on the app, it will prompt you to enter in your iTunes password. Uh, once the iTunes password has been entered, you hit OK and it will all automatically start downloading the app. So once the iWatch DVR2 app has been downloaded, you can simply click on the icon. In the upper right hand corner there's a plus sign. You'll click on the plus sign. Uh, it'll prompt you to enter in information from your DVR. Uh, the, first set of the first line of information is name. Uh, the name is just for you to recognize the DVR. So if you have two or three or more DVRs out there, you can identify them either home DVR, office DVR. If you only have one DVR, you can simply put in, you know, whatever name you'd like. Uh, the second line is the host. Uh, the host, you will enter in either the IP address for the DVR or the DDNS name of the DVR. Um, to enter in the DVR, DDNS or to create the DDNS name, uh, you can refer to our DDNS how-to video. Um, once that information is entered, it'll prompt you to enter then the port name or the port number. Um, again, refer to our how-to video on how to open a port on the router uh, to, to enter into your DVR. Uh, the next line is the username. The default username for the IDVR is admin, A-D-M-I-N. Um, there is a way to change the default username. Uh, you can refer to the how-to video on how to change that username. The default password, which is the next line on this screen, is 123456. Uh, you can also change that password by referring to the how-to video. And once that information is entered, you can click Done, excuse me, click Save. Um, when you go to open the iWatch DVR2 app, uh, the app might open, but when you go to launch your DVR, it may do the spinning, continuously spinning uh, symbol on the front. Um, that kind of means the app is hung, and what you'll have to do is close the, all the open apps. It probably just means you have too many apps open on your iPhone. Uh, to do this, you're going to double click the home button on the bottom of the iPhone and you're, you'll hold down the icons at the bottom. Um, they'll start to vibrate or shake and you can just close them by, by uh, hitting the, the red and white circle uh, at the top left of each icon and that will completely close them. That way when you go back into the app, um, it, will it kind of refreshes the app and uh, you can go right into your DVR no problem. For more information on the iDVR, please visit the iDVR.info website.